guys, welcome to Vlogmas day four, I think. Um, and thanks so much for watching. So, it's just me. I said that too chipper. I'm actually so sad. My husband is out of town. Um, as we said in the last vlog, it could be just tonight, it could be tonight and tomorrow. Um, and you wanna know what's really disappointing is I'm sad that I'm alone, and so I'm thinking, oh, my animals, they'll love me. And all they're doing is looking for Sam. Like, all he's done since I got home. Except for this very, this is the first time he has acknowledged me. And he just, he's been looking around, see? He like does this, he'll go from room to room, he'll walk around the house. And he has this very distinctive like, look like where is dad? And tonight we'll go to bed and what we'll do, let me tell you, let me show you. This is how depressing it is, we all just miss him so much. I'll lay. Of course, my bed is already messed up because Doug moved all this today while I was gone. But I'll be laying up here, and usually Doug lays like there. He chewed that up, by the way. He'll lay right there with his nose that way, and he will just stare and look for Sam. So we are very sad. I'm sorry I'm moving around so much. Aren't we, Doug? We're very sad. Oh! <laughs> he got me. Do we miss daddy? Please don't, please don't like me. Please don't like me. Um, yeah, it's just, it sucks. It also sucks that we don't know how long he's gonna be gone. But anyway, um, I, first of all, have been rocking the headband hairstyle now for three days and it's been pretty freaking awesome because I haven't had to do my hair. Like this is really dirty hair. Didn't put any dry shampoo in it and you just, you can't even tell. But also today, for the first time in the history of ever, I went to work with no makeup on. I never do that. Usually I'll at least put foundation on. And I just woke up this morning and I was like, no, I'm not doing it today. I'm not gonna do it today, dog. I'm not doing it. Mama's not gonna put on your makeup. You don't, don't need it. And I like walked in the office and everyone was like, and everyone could tell I looked different but no one wanted to say anything. Cause that's kind of rude, you know? But I figured if a few thousand people see me without makeup, then it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Right, dog? <laughs> you met, bless you. Do you miss daddy? Yeah, I miss him too. You're so cute. Oh my gosh, you're the cutest dog in the whole world. You are so cute. Yeah, I just figured I would update you. All right, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna eat dinner. And I think what we're gonna do tonight is a full skincare routine because last night's vlog was super, super short. So yeah, I'll just be sharing that pretty shortly. But in the meantime, kitty in a box. Okay, so I just got out of the shower like 35 seconds ago, which is why my hair is dripping wet. But I wanted to go through, let me scoot you guys back, and kind of just do the skincare routine like I told you guys. Um, I always get the question um, about like what kind of skin I have. Um, so basically, I have oily, acne prone skin. When I say acne prone, I mean cystic freaking acne. I have rosacea, which is why I am red. But it's fairly mild. Um, I love to follow Casey Holmes, or I guess she's Casey Marler now, but she's still like Casey Holmes on her uh, social media because she has exactly the same skin as me. Rosacea, um, oily, and acne prone. So anything like makeup wise. Girl, why is your breathing so loud? You are a tiny little kitty. So anything makeup wise, I love Casey Holmes for. Um, but skincare wise, I will follow some of her stuff, but it's a lot of just trial and error for me. So I use the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser and the Clarisonic Mia 2. It doesn't have a brush head on it, so it looks a little weird. Every single day. Now I use it at nighttime, I don't use it in the morning. I have used this combo every day for five years and it is the only thing that has kept my cystic acne away and it is the only thing that keeps my oil under control. So, five years, thing has never steered me wrong. In the morning time, I kind of tra uh, trade between two. I will use the Olay, <laughs> the Olay Advanced Anti-Aging Regenerating Cream Cleanser. This one kind of has like a microdermabrasion 
something to it. So I use that, but not every single day. The other times I use the Mario Badescu seaweed cleansing cleansing soap because it is really freaking good. Okay, it doesn't smell the best, but it really does cleanse your skin. And I don't use the Clarisonic in the morning time. I don't know if I've said that. I just use it at night. So for nighttime, this is when I take my skincare the most serious. During the day, I will put one of these two moisturizers on. This is the Green Envy Protect Antioxidant Moisturizer, or this is one I've really been loving lately, is the Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. Now this one's only about 14 bucks, but this is medical grade. Like it's a medical grade um, moisturizer, so Slight, slight differences, um, but I just usually am grabbing one of these two for under my makeup in the morning, and then that's really the only uh, moisturizer that I put on. At nighttime, every single night, I use the Green Envy HA Collagen Boosting Serum and this bad boy. I'm sharing this in Thursday's video, and it's a little weird because it does vibrate. Um, but I've seen women getting Botox before and they'll like hold this to their face. Like if they're getting Botox here, they're like, hold it right here. And I was like, what the heck is that? It's a beauty bar and it basically, um, vibrates. And I think it's supposed to help like simulate the collagen in your skin. And I no, I, I mentioned this in Sunday's video. Um, but I really struggle with that 11 and I'm thinking I'm going to get Botox like next month probably. Um, because it's really starting to like really crease the older I get. So I will just put on a little bit of that collagen boosting serum. And the main reason I do that is because it helps this glide a lot easier on your skin. Actually, I'll do it up like this. The battery's dying on it, so it's a little stronger when, the, when it's upside down and the battery's closed. Um, but basically you just use this almost like a jade roller and just run it along your skin. There's like full how-to videos. I don't know if I do this exactly right, but it's helped a lot, especially with that 11 on my forehead. Oh yeah, this thing's definitely dying. I need to replace the battery. So I'll let that kind of dry, but I'll usually grab one of these four serums when I am using this because and then, so at nighttime, I've really loved spraying one of these two sprays on my face and my chest. I also like get breakouts on my chest because I really have a bad tendency of like when I'm stressed out, I do this and like I'll just stand there or like I'll play with my necklace and so I get breakouts there sometimes. This stuff is the Kopari Coconut Rose Toner. It helps a lot and it's significantly more affordable than the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, but both are good. I prefer this one, if I'm gonna be completely honest. So I spray that. I just got out of the shower and I'm not wearing my pajamas yet, so try not to show anything too much. And then finally, I feel like I have two of everything. So ooh, I will use one of these two creams, the Murad Renewing Eye Cream or the Neutrogena Rap Rapid Wrinkle Repair. I can't speak tonight. Um, I don't really use that one this much, but if I do, I just put a little bit, that was a lot more than I probably needed, on my fingers. Oopsies. And it's, I mean, eye cream, it's supposed to like de-puff, de-wrinkle, do all that stuff. One thing I have found about any wrinkle cream, the best ones have, um, what's it called? I can't think of the ingredient. Retinol. The best ones have retinol in it and you have to use them consistently. Like you can't just use it like once, once a week or whatever. And then every single night, like, clockwork. I put the Neutrogena Wrinkle Repair on my 11. Probably is not that bad to some people, but I notice it. I'm very expressive in my face, and so it just, I've the older I've gotten, I've noticed that like 
my expressions aren't as dramatic as they used to be, but because they were so dramatic years ago, and even, I mean, still kind of now, um, everything up here is a lot looser. So, no big deal. And then finally, the Mario Badescu Chamomile Night Cream. Oh, I literally just trade out Mario Badescu Night Creams. I don't have one favorite over the other. As long as it is a Mario Badescu and it's a night cream, I'll use it. And then I just put this all over my cheeks. Sometimes if there's like too much, I'll put it on my forehead, but I already put stuff up there, so I just kind of leave it alone usually. And then any excess, I pull it down on my throat. Okay. So I'm very red, that's how my skin gets, obviously after I do my skincare more than probably other people's because of my rosacea, but that is a-okay. Um, my rosacea does not bother me in the slightest. So, I am going to go put my pajamas on, edit this vlog, and go cuddle with Doug and just whine about my husband not being home. So thank you guys so much for watching. Vlogmas day four, I believe. Um, make sure to subscribe below if you are new here and hopefully next time you see me, my husband will be home. I don't know, but bye guys.